Richard Kinnaird. I'm the Business Development Manager at AW Safety. Uh, business Development Manager is a posh way of saying sales manager. Um, so obviously I know that um, everyone's been affected by this uh, COVID-19 and uh, you know, most more so the new guys who would be expected to be going and doing some work experience. I still remember mine, I went into uh, a garage um, even though I had no interest in cars at the time and yeah, I was, I was really bad. But um, it's, I still got loads of valuable experience and it was really interesting to see how, um, how people work. So um, I just wanted to do this video. Um, I was really, you know, uh, happy to do it and hopefully, you know, give you guys something, uh, a nugget that you can use, although I doubt it. But no, um, so if you were here doing, um, doing work experience, you would be making lots of coffee. We drink a lot of coffee here and it's good to have someone making it for you. Uh, but I was thinking about this before and something that I found really um, interesting when I was thinking about why, you know, a lot of people when they think about going to work experience or apprenticeships, etc., they there's lots of jokes about, oh, you'll just be making the tea, you'll be making the coffee, you'll be doing this, you'll be doing that, you'll be doing the really low down jobs. And I was thinking about why that is you have to start somewhere. Uh, as I said, I started, in, you know, well, in fact, my first job was working in the restaurant and I started the lowest of the low, washing the pots, washing the pots, drying them, sticking them, and you know, back for the chef to deal with and the, the sous chef, the chef de pate, the head chef, etc. all those to deal with. Then I slowly worked up to start, you know, I was doing starters. Uh, sorry, well, I was even first now I was prepping veg and I was just cutting up veg and, and fruit and veg all day. Then I was prepping the um, starters. Then I was doing the um, serving veg for the for the mains, and then I was serving mains, and then I was doing specialist meals. So you have to start somewhere, and it's always it's always good to know what the worst jobs there so, uh, you know are, so that you appreciate it when you move away from those, and also you appreciate how hard it is for the people that are doing it now. So you never look down on them. And that's very important. So uh, how did I get into business development slash sales? I kind of fell into it really. So after my uh, after I worked in the kitchen for six years, it wasn't really for me just because it was quite, um, you, you were just in the same four walls all the time, saw the same people every day. And I needed something a little bit more people orientated. I, I've got a degree in performing arts. I love just talk to people. So I saw this job that was for door knocking, selling charity, uh, door to door charity sales. Um, so it was a bit of a baptism of fire, to be honest, knocking on people's doors. I had to knock on a hundred a day to try and get them to sign up to a monthly package. And I got like a small portion of that if they did it for three months. So you didn't get paid anything for three months, but then after three months for the ones that kept going and were still paying, you got a certain amount. Um, it was middle of winter when I started doing it, so my hands were shaking. I couldn't even write the people's names on, and um, it, it was a nightmare, absolute nightmare. Twelve hour days easily, um, because you get there for nine in the morning, uh, so half eight in the morning. Then you would have a couple of hours meeting training. Then you'd go out, do door knocking for six hours straight, and then you'd come back. Obviously, depending on how far you were went away from the office, depends on how long it took to get back. Then you had to do um, sort of rundown meetings and all sorts of stuff. So you were there for a good twelve hours. It was a yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a shift. But then everything else became easy. So I did that for six months. After that, every job was easy, as in sales. I've had no problem with people telling me no. I can no problem with dealing with rejection. Um, so I think that's really key to to try and learn that. So if you're scared of doing something, just jump in. It was easy for me to say it, just crack on. Um, and just try and learn from everyone. I really enjoy whenever I move into a new position, new role, or wherever I get into something new, I always try and learn as much as I can from the person that seems to be the one that knows what they're on about. I spend a lot of time with the MD here, just learning from him, learning how he started the business, what he's done, what, what's worked, what's not worked. I like to read, uh, well, actually, I like to do audiobooks. Um, so if I'm walking or just doing chores around the house. I like to listen to audiobooks or podcasts. Um, just teaching me things. I like to listen to people that know, you know, that are experts in the field and that know what they're on about. 
Um, sometimes you'll get people that say they know what they're on about and they don't. So, sucks that you guys haven't been able to do any work experience. Uh, we'd have loved to have had you uh, had you here, but um, to be honest, you probably, like I say, you've just been making me coffee. So, no, I've got you doing some other stuff. But anyway, um, hope you're all good. So safe, hope your families are all safe and all the usual things that everyone's saying in these times. But anyway, thank you very much. Um, Richard, AW Safety, just in case there wasn't enough branding in this video. Um, forgot about that, the lanyard. You know what else have I got? I don't know, I've got loads of stuff, AW Safety here. But, um, but yeah, have a great day and thank you very much. See you guys, bye.